Oh. So we'll cut over here. Or oh, actually, wait. We're not playing. We're playing assault. All we have to do is defend. Oh, baby. Today's my day. Neat, 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 neat. I like this tank, even though it has so many bad things about it. That's a fun tank to play. I would play the VKB over this, though. Hands down. VKB to me is just a significantly easier tank, or not easier, but a more enjoyable experience to play in random battle. This tank has its moments, but in general, not being able to side scrape because of these sides, the side tumors are just crazy. Crazy. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Looks like an elephant now with those bins on it, with his dorky little ears. So I'll just move up here. We'll take the corner. And we just have to defend, man. I mean, this it's not simple. We're not trying to hard push them, but what we are trying to do is have them play into a situation that we can control. And so far, it's looking pretty half-decent to me. So our Indian Panzer in the middle is not going to do much. IS-7 where he's at, not going to do much either. SPG on this side of the map would very much change how things are going. But you can't blame them for going where most of the armor is going to be. Frontally, I feel it's lower front plates, weaker in a way. Additionally, you have to aim directly at the engagement or everyone and their mother is going to pen you. Because, as I was saying, on the sides, those, those tumors become flat and they're basically 100% pen. So you know what, we have an opportunity to be silly, so let's be silly. What up my dudes? Is it me you're looking for? Hello? Now we just have to hope our team supports us. And we should be golden, pony boy. No, never drive directly behind another tank. Never drive directly behind another tank. Never drive directly behind another tank. Besides that, as long as you keep the engagement directly in front of you, this tank's super awesome and you hide your LFP. The minute your LFP gets exposed, you're pretty much in a bad way. Oh, we'll disengage because this 110 is getting some opportunity shots onto me that I don't like, and this Tiger 2 thinks hugging my booty is a good thing, which it is not. We need to turn here and give him a funky angle into our side track there. I really, 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 really hate it when people drive behind me like that. You're preventing a person from disengaging. Which to me is the number one way to get a teammate killed. The gun is really good. The handling is good. The reload's a wee bit on the long side. So you ha we have that working against us. If I push under this Wheezy Try 1, I can turn my armor and aim it directly at the 110, which is what I'm going to wind up having to do here. So I'm going to hard push the Wheezy Try 1 here. Ram him. And we're looking for that, we need to get our ammo rack back into the game. Our Tiger 2 needs to engage the 110. And this is what I'm looking for right here, is to get him to engage like this. And now it's a full frontal engagement. We'll aim at his lower front plate, remove him from the game. And then we'll do, this, do the same here with the 110, give him all our frontal. Hey baby, what you doing? Mm, you're looking nice today. And shoot him in the head. And then we'll turn around and we'll go delete the defenders. Remove them from the game, ideally. 
Do, 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 do. We have to remember that we're kit down. What is with you just on my booty, man? And that's the person that doesn't know what they're doing, to be quite honest. I'll just come up here and remove that defender from the game. It's a good tank. I mean, if you can control the engagement, it's an awesome thing. If you overcommit with the tank and you can't control the after the commitment, you're going to have a very bad day. Oh, that fire, though. So we have four minutes left. All we have to do is prevent them from taking our cap. And uh, that should be relatively easy to do, to be quite honest. We'll try to carry as hard as we can, team, but... I am but one tank. I am but a lone tank. <laughs> Easy come, easy go. Answer comp, wag and go. Any way the wind blows. Doesn't really matter to Panzer Comp Wagon 7. So we'll get to the north, we'll go defend our base. Honestly, I'm just going to switch over to APCR because we're going to have a mouse engagement and mices are punks. If we could find a good position, we should be able to control the map here. We'll get aimed up, we'll get our top gun, and then we'll go deal with the cap. <laughs> anyway, the wind blows. We'll see what we can do here. I'm guessing it's a mouse. Oh no, it's just a Leo. It's a Leo! Actually, deleting the Skoda would be incredibly important to the well being of our team. And we'll be able to get reloaded by the time we need to reset. Hello, friend. It is me. What you doing all by yourself? Deep, dee -dee 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 I'm killing you all easy. So we just need to delete the Leo here and we should be golden, pony boy. Your maneuvers aren't as sweet as you think they are, my dude. We're just going to hold the bridge and we win. Hold the bridge and we win. That's all we have to do. <sighs> we need to track him. We have to be aware that the SPG is going to be getting into us. So all we have to do is take out the Scorpion first. He can't hard cap. So we just aim there, pull back. Triggering! God, we should have won this game. He's slinging APCR. Yeah. How can you do? Well, either way, we get our ace tanker. We got a top gun, we get a pools medal. I think that's the first pools medal I've ever gotten, so I'll take that. <laughs> you know what, all we can do is our best and hope that our team does likewise. But, you know, if you can in in control the engagement, see, like with that, letting the mouse over the bridge was, we needed, 
Okay, I didn't want to push onto the bridge because I knew the SPG would slam slam the side of me. So what I was I was trying it was one of those things where I was damned if I did, damned if I didn't. If I pushed onto the bridge, the SPG would have slammed me. But the flip side to that is he would have hit his mouse and his scorpion too at the same time, right? So what I should have done is pushed onto the bridge, prevented the mouse from getting over the bridge. And that would have prevented the scorp from getting over the bridge. And then it would have been a straight on engagement. So that was the biggest mistake of that game. We could have probably won that map had we done that. It's unfortunate, man. Very unfortunate. Either way, we pull down 5.8k, 3.9 blocked, absolutely no assisted. We get our first ace tanker in this tank, our first pools in this tank, and top gun and high caliber. Click over at the damage charts, and that sort of tells the tale. Usually on a loss, you'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the damage bleeds off basically to 0. So, what can you do? We'll take some screenshot those here of our... Our game there, that's the best game we've ever gotten in the Panzer Camp Wagon 7, and it was fun. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I never expected to come out of that game with the pools, so I won't complain too much. It's a good tank, like I say, if you can keep the engagement basically like this, and if you do want to be slightly tilted and or have your armor angled, you want to come around the corner basically and tuck in this corner behind the corner and shoot over this area, because that will be the best way. If you come around the corner like this, uh, people can pop you in the tracks. They can get underneath this area here to shoot into. And then additionally, this area right here basically is flat and only needs about 215 millimeters of penetration to pen through here. So anyone slinging APCR should be able to deal with either. So yeah. what can you do? Win some, you lose some. We had fun. That's all that matters. That would have been, 